feet north to a remote part of Minnesota where we found a talented youngster with a remarkable ability to play music. It has to be one of the most peaceful spots in the whole of Minnesota. There are no neighbors here to complain about the constant sound of 17-year-old Jade Hagberg as he plays a tune. Jade comes from a musical family. My grandma plays piano, my grandma plays basketball, and my dad plays guitar. Jade's mom, Erica, has a nice singing voice, but she's best known for her multimedia art pieces that are displayed around their home. Erica creates while her son plays. to play more than 30 instruments, including piano, flute, viola, piccolo, double bass, and clarinet. Wind, string, makes no difference. He's been making music since grade school. When I was in third grade, my grandfather started to try and teach me saxophone. All through fourth grade, I was like, I want to do band. I'm this little jazz band at the high school. It's been a life full of music, which in some ways came easy. I learned fingerings, I learned notes, and it, it sticks. It just, it stays. I don't... Can you hear it in your head? Mm-hmm. And in other ways, Jade's accomplishments have been very hard won. When did you realize you were deaf? I had no idea. I mean, I'd been living my, like, the first part of my life like that. It wasn't until he was five that doctors said he'd been very, very deaf since birth. They said it's an eight, about an 83% loss. Today, with 10-year-old hearing aids and a remarkable ability to read lips, Jade manages to live a full and fruitful life. But when he's playing with the Minnesota Youth Symphony, he has to rely on observation and memory to get it right. What, like the first violins and the second violins we're doing, because they're so far away I can't hear them. <laughs> I've been able to hear all of what I'm doing. He has Beethoven syndrome. He constantly hears music in his head. Jay desperately needs modern hearing aids, but life is hard when the only income is from Erica's infrequent art sales. I've been trying every which way to try and find him the funding. So we called an old friend, Bill Austin, who owns one of the largest and most successful hearing aid providers in the country. And I'm going to make you some super new digital hearing aids. Highly scientific tests show exactly what Jade can and cannot hear. The good news is that he has a little hearing across the whole dynamic range. It's a pretty significant hearing loss here. Bill Austin has personally made hearing aids for all kinds of very famous and powerful people, as well as musicians like Ozzy Osbourne and Sting. Jade is about to get the very best equipment money can buy, and it won't cost him a penny. After many hours of testing, measuring, assembly, more testing, and finally computer programming, Jade hears clearly and loudly for the first time in his life. But after a few notes... Jade discovered that sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for. It made my music sound slightly worse to me, but it means I could hear like little nuances in it that I couldn't hear before. That's a problem no one expected, but this very grateful young musician is more than happy to make the adjustment. It's so hard. 